and it leads to stress and burnout, which kind of brings me to the next thing. You never look tired. Every time I talk to you, you always look fresh and up and ready and alert. Do you like drink a lot of coffee or do you just sort of, um, you know, are you always just creating energy as a person, Be, um, even like being a like a parent and running a business and, you know, having a, a wedding to plan as well? Like how, how do you sort of, yeah, how do you, how do you manage all that without sort of feeling like exhausted? Yeah, man, good question. I think, um, probably a bit of an unpopular opinion, but personally, I believe that stress is a choice and you can just choose not to be stressed personally. I think a lot of people would disagree with that statement, but for me anyway, um, if I feel myself starting to be stressed out, then may maybe I've just got some mechanisms that I use. I meditate a lot and things like that, but I, I, pers I just really believe that you can just choose not to be stressed. And if, if, if you're in a situation where you are just uncontrollably stressed out and there's nothing you can do about it, then your system is broken and you need to fix that. There's probably something really wrong with the way you've set your life up, especially if it's prolonged and, you know, if you're feeling that level of stress for longer than like a few weeks or something like change that, mm. <laughs> um, for me though, personally, um, like I say, I'm, I'm very routine oriented, very goal oriented. Uh, most mornings I'll follow a very strict structure. And personally, I think if you master your morning, then your whole day is set up. I, I started the night prior, like the night before I'll plan my next day out. Um, I'll get all of the standard, you know, I'll like plan my morning out, make my lunch, do all that sort of stuff the day prior because like evening hours are less valuable than morning hours morning hours are way more valuable to me you know because it's like you, you don't want to be in a mad flustered rush in the morning if you start your day off smooth then the rest of it's going to be pretty pretty smooth sailing that also i think i don't know luckily i can operate on not a heck of a lot of sleep a lot of the time um yeah as long as i get at least like four or five hours i'm, I'm generally okay anything less than four hours and i'm a bit of a zombie so i just don't do that anymore mm. <laughs> um yeah. So yeah, I, I think just each person's a bit different and yeah, you just need to have some sort of system or mechanism set up where you're not stressing yourself out. Um, also I think every person just has a different threshold as to how much, um, like how, like what a comfortable stress level would be for them. Some people can just hack more stress than others. Um, and I think if you're one of those people, then it's, it's like almost, you, you don't want to waste that, like put it into something. I see a lot of people that are, that can deal with a lot of stress in there, especially the ones that get kind of comfortable or become financially free or do something like that. And it's just like, uh, I'm just going to chill out now. It's like, no, I mean, just because you don't have to work doesn't mean that you shouldn't like just work on something fun or like something that's going to have a real positive end result you know what i mean mm. um, yeah so yeah i think just having having a system in place deciding not to be too stressed out and if you are too stressed out then doing something about it and having a system that works better for you 